A single kick could kill a full-grown lion. Two thousand years ago, a remarkable bird ruled Africa's plains. This is the common ostrich, Earth's largest living bird. Standing nine feet tall, weighing 300 pounds. Their territory spanned from Mediterranean coasts to Southern Africa. From grasslands to deserts, they thrived everywhere. Rome knew them well as exotic wonders. Speed was their greatest weapon against danger. 45 miles per hour, faster than any predator's endurance. Their legs held devastating power in every stride. Each foot bore a four-inch razor-sharp claw. A single kick could kill a full-grown lion. Height gave them vision across endless horizons. Their eyes were larger than their brains. They could spot danger from two miles away. They lived in loose social groups for safety. Communication kept the flock alert and coordinated. They ate whatever the harsh land provided. They swallowed stones to grind their food. Plants, seeds, insects, est nothing was refused. This natural mill extracted every bit of nutrition. Their bodies tolerated extreme temperatures without water. Special feathers kept them cool in blazing heat. They could survive a week without drinking water. Plants provided the moisture they desperately needed. When water appeared, they drank deeply and quickly. Lions constantly hunted the massive birds. But ostriches always saw them coming first. The group scattered in explosive bursts of speed. Cheetahs preferred targeting vulnerable young birds. but parents fought fiercely to protect their offspring. Night brought hyenas prowling in the darkness. Ostriches never fully slept, always watching. Leopards studied them but rarely attacked adults. River crossings presented deadly underwater threats. Yet they proved surprisingly capable swimmers. Breeding season transformed males into fierce competitors.
their necks flushed brilliant red with excitement. Dance displays advertised strength and territory quality. Booming calls carried for miles across the plains. Females judged every movement and sound carefully. Males fought violently for the best territories. Battles involved powerful kicks and sharp pecks. Winners earned the right to mate and breed. Males created simple nests in sandy soil. Just a shallow scrape, exposed and vulnerable. Females laid eggs weighing three pounds each. Several females shared one communal nest. Nests could hold 40 eggs from multiple mothers. Dominant females placed their eggs in the center. Subordinate females' eggs occupied the dangerous edges. Males incubated through the dangerous dark hours. Their black feathers concealed the nest perfectly. Females endured scorching daytime incubation shifts. Parents defended nests with terrifying aggression. One kick could launch a jackal 10 feet. But some thieves succeeded through cunning and patience. After 42 days, new life broke through. Born large, eyes open and ready to run. Hatching took days as chicks emerged gradually. Parents left the nest site within hours. Chicks learned by following and watching constantly. They copied every behavior their parents demonstrated. Knowing toxic plants meant the difference between life and death. Families merged, forming protective creches of dozens. Cooperative parenting confused predators and saved energy. Adults took turns guarding the communal nursery. Danger signals triggered instant freeze responses. Their mottled pattern made them invisible when still. Not all survived the brutal first weeks. Survivors grew incredibly fast on rich protein diets. They practiced running constantly, building crucial speed. Play served a deadly serious purpose, Gems. Survival training. By three months, they could outrun most threats. Juvenile plumage gradually gave way to adult feathers. 
young males darkened as hormones triggered their transformation. By one year, they stood almost as tall as adults. Males practiced displays long before they could breed. Mock battles taught fighting without serious injury. Food knowledge expanded through observation and experimentation. By year two, they joined adult social structures. Social hierarchies determined access to food and mates. By year three, they reached full breeding maturity. Humans had hunted ostriches for thousands of years. But their vision betrayed stalkers every time. Families continue the eternal cycle of survival. Survivors of two millennia and inheritors of ancient wisdom. The ostrich endures, a testament to nature's perfect design. <laughs>